Hello and welcome to the Universal Blueprint channel where we are looking at our sacred history. We are in the mini-series within the series where we are looking at the apostles and the importance they have on the line of knowledge, who they got it from, who they were um, and the roles they played and what they did with it and it's important because the 12 main apostles were given the uh, line of knowledge from um, Jesus or King Jesus or Joseph after the ascension because he was exiled so they were charged to carry it on. Now we're going to go through each individual in each video separately because it's better than making one large video and missing details um, so we're actually going to look at St Mark at this point now St Mark is an interesting individual um, so he was actually quite young at the time of um, when the apostles were out and about doing their thing now the thing is that St Mark actually wasn't one of the main apostles he was given the title later have to having to fill the ranks of those that were um, either disappeared, changed, or, or just died, or something else that allowed a new space to be opened up, and St. Mark actually filled that slot. So he wasn't really old enough to re travel around with Jesus at the same time. He was there as a young man, but he wasn't really at the same level or standard as, as the others at the time. And because of this, he was allowed to travel with St. Um, Peter, uh, who took him around uh, with him to show him the ways of the world. It's said that he then became, um, he founded the church in Alexandria, uh, who, and then also becoming the bishop of it, um, before he passed that line on to Ananias uh, himself. He was also uh, the creator of the church in Africa and Greece. So he did quite a lot in his later days, and that's partly because, obviously, being a younger man, he was able to continue the teachings after the others and was able to do more traveling and go around and connect to the younger people at the time. And it was quite important because it also plays a part of... Um, it's quite strange really because once we look at the other apostles particularly saint paul we notice that saint peter and paul actually um kind of instigated the church and the, the taking on of the church and the other roles in society and he was pretty much mentored by those two as opposed to jesus himself so although he played a key role in the understanding and the passing of the line it wasn't the purest side of the line that we see from um, joseph and jesus which is why saint mark didn't really have any dealings with saint john who was passed on the line directly from from jesus so it was actually more of a descendant of paul and peter which is very important later on when we look at that than he was to the main line and that's why he was setting up churches and he was quite rigorous in his um, ability to create this because that was under the orders of those two individuals. Interestingly enough though we do see he is an enlightened being that's why he has the halo hence why he became one of the apostles which means he's activated the third eye is able to access the mind space the mind palace reach the higher levels of consciousness just like the other individuals. Now what is important is that St. Mark is given one of four particular stations, the others being held by Matthew, Luke and John. Now Mark was one of the four evangelists, evangelicists, which um, basically they stand on the four corners of the world to represent the four pillars and it's also a teaching to do with the four elements and it's also a part of the idea of the, um, we see quite a lot in modern day uh, occultisms and secret societies and it's the idea of the passing of the sphinx as well so we have the head of the man um feather of the eagle the um the bone of the ox and um, um the uh, tooth of the lion and it's those four parts that represents the four part of man which is the sphinx which is all to do with the secret knowledge and he represents one one fourth of that, which is why in many of his images he has one of these animals with him at all times. In many of the images, we can also see two pillars associated with Saint Mark, which is to do with the Kabbalah and the teaching of the two hand path um, of the left and right. So, that, that this is what we're trying to establish is that these individuals had the knowledge that we've seen already previously, all the way through the series, and we're just reinventing it and creating it and creating these new systems of study within things like the churches and this is what should have been passed on in the way that it was meant to not necessarily the way that it was
and we have to establish this now so that all the individuals that come after uh, have this direct link and tie so anyone that saint mark was um uh, taught or he, he taught to should have had these teachings and were given these these methods of study and learning and understanding of the universe because if he had them then his students would have them also um, so yeah, one of the four evangelicists, it, it's very important because that is a key teaching. It states the four elements of the world, earth, air, fire and water, because it's all to do with the zodiac as well and the four stages of the mental mind. Each part of the mental mind represents a concept of um, study. So for example, fire is the idea of external change, water is internal change, air is to do with um, uh, analysing and expanding uh, information uh, and earth is to do with bringing information down and conjuncting conjoining it down into into ideas uh, more um, ready to be put into manifestation so these four work together uh, in order to make the um, wheel of understanding perception go around within the new system of study and that's why it's so important so we will look at St. Mark in the future and the people he taught and what he did, um, but that's him it is for this video. And again, we will see more of him as um, obviously he follows Peter and Paul around to set up their church later on. Uh, so that's it for this video. Hope you join us for the next one. Hope you've enjoyed. Please like, subscribe and share. And we'll see you later on in the series. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to the Universal Blueprint channel where we are looking at our sacred history. We are in the mini-series within the series where we are looking at the apostles and the importance they have on the line of knowledge, who they got it from, who they were um, and the roles they played and what they did with it and it's important because the 12 main apostles were given the uh, line of knowledge from um, Jesus or King Jesus or Joseph after the ascension because